In this video, I am going to compare three different duck bills just to see if one is easier to use or um, has advantages over the others. Uh, the red one in the center is the one that uh, comes with the Lucid tool. Uh, the black one's one that was suggested by Mike at Lucid uh, Auto Works to try out, and he said some people found that it works a little bit better. I think it's actually an older um, style. And then the um, stainless steel one on the left is one that I just found on um, eBay. And that one's got, even though it's stainless steel, it's got these nylon pads in it that are replaceable. Um, so technically it won't mar up the rim. So some of the differences I've noticed, the um, red duckbill tool has double humps on it, double bumps. So there's a bump in the back, and the um, both of the other tools do not have that. And so I think that could be good or bad. Um, on the good side, it seems like the tire, when you're mounting it, might slip over uh, the black duck bill a little bit easier without that bump in the back. On the positive side for having the bump is it seems like the tire, when you're mounting again, keeps it from riding on the rim, which can avoid abrasion on the steel rims. Um, on, to the in, inside of the tire when you're mounting it. So I'll be interested to see if the tire rests against the rim mounting um, with this tool. Um, the other thing you might notice is that big difference between the red duck bill and the black one is that the red one has this flange that mounts um, under the bottom of, lip of the rim whereas the black one does not have that. So I'm wondering if the black one lets you get it a little bit tighter than this one would. So if you look at the edge profiles, the red one, the closest it can get is when the uh, bottom lip of the duckbill I'm pointing to hits the inside of the rim, whereas the black one can rest right against the outside of the rim. So I'm wondering if that makes it a little bit, the black one sit a little bit tighter, um, making the tire have to stretch a little bit less to get over the rim. Um, the other thing I was wondering about is, you can see the difference in the shapes of the um, notch above the duck bill. Like this one ramps up a little bit more. And I was wondering if that might make it easier to mount to dismount the tire, that it might ride up on that and ride over the rim so I don't have to use my special tool to start, uh, start it from dismounting. So I'll give all three of these a try on the same rim and tires. It'll just be a subjective uh, comparison, but I'll give you my comments as it goes along. Alright, I'll start out with the red duckbill on here. Give that a try first, just for comparison's sake. Get it in position. Pretty smooth as you've seen in the other videos if you've watched them. And the second bead as well. So overall I'm really happy with how the um, red one works. Get a little loose here. And then we'll just do a quick dismount here. seen before. And then the second edge of the tire. And off it comes. So I'm pretty happy with that. Let's look at the black duckbill in comparison and just see the difference.
So this one again, it doesn't hook on the bottom, so I guess it makes it easier to set the height a little bit independent. But it does, uh, you know, have a full flange there, so it fits nice and um, feels nice. Tighten that down. Make sure it spins around well. I do think I like the full nylon ones better than the idea of the um, stainless steel. Just out of concern of uh, you know scratching up the aluminum of the rim. I'll just make sure these are lubricated the same to be fair. Pop that in place. Let's try the same thing here. You probably can't see that, but my concern about the rim riding up, or the tire rather, riding up over the rim was unfounded because it does seem like the tire, um, still as it's going on, sits above that lip, so that's not a problem. And overall, I think it was actually a little bit less force needed um, using the black duck bill rather than the red. I think that's because the, it doesn't have the bump in the back here. So this duck bill tool has that bump in the back. So when you get close to being complete, it has to pull up over that lip, whereas this one's a lot less of a lip in the back. Let's try the other side. I don't know, it seems, seems pretty equivalent to me. This one might be slightly, slightly easier on the mount, but um, overall they both work really well. It's hard for me to really say conclusively if there's a real difference. Let's see if there's any difference in the dismount. So that's a little bit of a difference now. Because the black tool is a little bit thinner, the black duck bill tool is a little bit thinner, it's a little bit harder to get my little tool in here, it seems like. Um, not a big deal, but it is a little bit, little bit tighter. So the gap left in there with the red duck bill is a little bit wider, which makes it a little bit easier to slip in there. But it works just fine. And I forgot, I wanted to try one thing, which was seeing if the black duckbill tool let it ride up off the rim on the dismount uh, by itself without having to use my polyethylene tool. So uh, maybe I'll just put this one back on and just see if that's the case. I think it is a little bit less force required with this one. Maybe another test would be whether I need to use this to hold in the drop center on this one. Let's give that a try. Yeah, I think it does help. Because this one doesn't, it doesn't want to ride into the... Oh, it's not too bad. Whoop. Yeah, I guess that's an explanation of why you, you do still want to use the little uh, tool here to keep the one side in the drop center definitely does, does still help. Alright, so now I want to see if, if I just put the tire iron in there and hold it like that, let's give it the best shot it has, will it ride up over the edge? And it really seems like it's not going to again without inserting a polyethylene tool in there. Yeah, and definitely the gap is a little bit tighter, so it's a little bit harder to force the tool in there. I don't know if that's a big deal, but it is a noticeable difference.
case you're wondering, this aluminum rim is just an old uh, junk rim. It's actually bent and just haven't recycled it yet, so it's kind of been handy having it around to do these comparisons with. Oh, hope I didn't whack you there. Alright, and finally I'll just try that stainless steel one. Again, I'm a little bit leery about this one on a, using that on the aluminum rims just out of concern uh, for scratching up the, the rim. Now another thing on this one is there's no, um, you know, you could <laughs> orient it pretty much wherever um, and it'll sit there. So I'm a little worried if it was off too far, it might be scratching. Although that plastic pad in the bottom is sort of the nylon pad's pretty wide, so it's probably not too much of a concern. But this tool doesn't feel as nice lining it up because it's got no, you know, positive set point there. It's just kind of doing it by feel compared to either of the other two tools which both, you know, hold right tightly against the rim. So that looks, it's up a little bit higher. But. All right, I'll move, the, move up the tire again just to make sure it's nice and fresh lubed to give it a fair comparison. And we'll give it the last duck bill a try. In case you didn't know why it's called the duckbill, because I didn't before I started getting into this, the end of it just looks like the head of a duck. Alright, so this is the first attempt with the stainless steel head. I noticed right off the bat, like it's harder to feel like it's really aligned right mounting. I don't know if you can see that, but uh, on this one the tire is not riding up. But actually, it's nice and easy. It is easy. Uh, it felt very easy to mount that first um, bead over the rim. But what I'm worried about with this one is that you can see there, hopefully, hopefully that's in view of the camera, that as it rides up, it's just pushing the tire, you know, against the edge of it, and the tire can still ride down and push on the edge. It looks like it might just be an alignment thing that I have to push the duckbill out, but it's a hand alignment. And also, there's nothing to keep the duckbill tool, this duckbill tool, from sliding in with the pressure of the tire. So I also didn't didn't wasn't quite a fair comparison because I didn't use the and start off with the holder tool. I have to come up with a good name for this. Probably there is one already. And try that again. So this one seems to want to hit on the edges of the tire a little bit more than the other ones. But again, what I'm worried about with this one primarily and why I probably won't use it is I'm worried about that metal as it gets the pressure, uh, you know, being able to dig into the aluminum rims. Um, it did seem like maybe it did mount a little bit easier, um, probably just because it's so low in profile compared to the others, but, you know, this back is so thin. Um, but I probably don't, I don't foresee myself using that one. But right, let's, let's try a dismount. See how it compares as far as the amount of room left to insert my tool, or I guess the other question would be do you even need another tool or does it pull it right up over? 
with this shape of the ductwell. Oh, it's interesting. So this one, this dismount tool actually does seem like it rides up just fine without using the special polyethylene tool. See if it's the same for the inner inner bead. Uh, I'm kind of having a problem where it's one to slip around. Actually, it looks like that's not quite the key to the inner bead. I guess if I help it out a little bit. But to be fair, I think that is a benefit of the stainless steel tool is it seems to want to ride up off of the rim better than the plastic duct bills. And it does seem to go on pretty, <laughs> maybe with the lowest effort of all. Alright, yeah, so there, that's my concern is that it's actually, maybe because of my alignment or the fact that it's getting pushed in, it's actually hidden into the uh, rim, which was my big concern. I think I can adjust it a little bit so that this part of the duct goes out a little bit. Yeah, so I think that would make me a pretty leery using this on any rim that I cared about. So I guess my overall conclusion is that the stainless steel uh, duck bill worked really well for mountain it seemed like it seemed like it took a lot less uh, force or even less force and not that it takes that much force anyway for mountain but for dismounting I kept having the problem where this lip would get stuck against the uh, the rim and I'm always also just worried about uh, causing damage to the rim with the stainless steel tool so I don't really picture myself ever using that one again and then between the black um, and the red duck bill it seemed to me that the black duck bill uh, was a little bit better for mounting, just that without the bump in the back, uh, it did seem like it took slightly less force. I know that's somewhat qualitative or completely qualitative, but it felt like it was a little bit smoother putting it on. Um, they both felt really easy to use and lined up on the rim really nicely. Um, I'd say the black one was a little bit harder for removal, just in that it left a little bit less of a gap to get my polyethylene tool in and both of them seem to re still require the polyethylene tool. So I say the black one seems a little bit better um, for mounting and the red one maybe seems a little bit easier for dismounting. Overall um, I I've used the red one quite a bit now and I've been pretty happy with that so I'll probably stick with that. I don't know if the differences are compelling enough to switch. Um, but there are some slight trade-offs, but I definitely say the stainless steel one unfortunately was a bit of a bust.